the water lapping up against beautiful beaches. That's what you'll find in the Tawas area. As soon as you enter Tawas City, Gateway Park greets you. We have a boat launch there and uh, access then to the through the river uh, mouth out into the bay for fishing. This is Shoreline Park, the center of summertime festivals in Tawa City. It kicks off with an arts and crafts show over the Memorial Day weekend. A little north of Shoreline Park is East Tawa City Park and Campground. It has 178 lots and the campground offers some shoreline spots. If someone leaves one of those lots, the scramble is on. As on the waterfront lots, uh, people are always scrambling and what we do is we have what we call a transfer system. If you have a trailer in the park and you're on a lot, let's say up by the highway and a beach lot opens, you can get on a transfer list. Look for the lighthouse built in 1876 and you'll find another beautiful camping spot in the area, Tawas Point State Park. Can people get inside the lighthouse at all? Or? Yeah, absolutely. We have tours uh, five days a week in the summertime. They start um, actually in May, mid-May. A clean, sandy beach in the park also attracts visitors and locals. An estimated 300,000 people enjoy this state park every year. The locals are very proud of all the amenities out here. It's everything. It's boating, it's shopping, it's accessibility to local hospitals, wonderful stores, grocery stores. The whole community at large was what brought us to Tawas. Speaking of shopping, there's an eclectic mix of stores and businesses in East Tawas. If you're looking for a tasty lunch, you might consider Mr. Jack's. Afterwards, you can satisfy your sweet tooth at the Village Chocolatier or Marion's Dairy Bar. Don't forget to check out the ornate wooden interior of Branham's Jewelry. Just another gem in this community located on the sunrise.